My companions atone for, their, atone for their sins in this room. Now I must do the same. That is the reason. But, ah, I'm so scared. Mother, please. Oh, dog, did they get all cold in this room and, like, kill themselves? That's dark. I like it. Also, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Chronos Blade Tales of Berseria. Yeah, I was left a comment saying I should go upstairs and check the, the blood wings. Apparently, they're not blood wings anymore. They're dead. Shame, I guess? Though they're... They always seem like they were on a size, but there was always that hint from the group that they might actually not be. Uh, we gotta check our expedition as well. A new recipe. I've oh, this is the first time we actually sent our people out on the this area, right? Okay, that's why everything's new. Yeah, actually, I was kind of expecting the blood wings to betray us at some point, uh, but I guess that's not gonna happen, <laughs> to say the least. Ooh, that's a nice, uh, so those were nice little demons. pan. They were Malakim. Yes. Yeah? Could you not they tell that they were Malakim? They were probably to hunt down any humans who still possess free will. Enominat isn't whole, and his oppressive powers are not yet absolute. So he must be using the Malakim to find anyone he missed and process them. Sounds like him. Process? Be it a prince. Or a little girl. Alright, I think that big-ass truck just left. Yeah, I got quiet real fast there because I'm like, there was just a car or something in front of my house that, like, was really loud. Also, what's this skit? I wonder if Tabitha's all right. Ah, I'm sure I don't she's think fine. think she'll be suppressed so easily. Aye. She's got more grit than the average soldier. And wrinkles. But even if she resists suppression, if the Abbey finds her, she'd stand out even more with us. She ran an entire shadow network. Finding a place to hide will be child's play for her. I mean, she doesn't really have a network anymore. She's just pretending to be an old woman. Huh? But I really loved Tabitha's cooking. I'm just kidding. You don't run into a woman that tough every day. She's been living in society's shadows since before we were born. If she heard you were worried, she'd laugh and Pro say you're wasting your time. Probably not Aizen. Then we should be on our way to the villa. Probably not before Aizen was born. You, Lafi said definitely, because he's like three years old. And Roku, maybe, because I'm not exactly sure how old he is. I'm assuming there's going to be new enemies here. Oh, there's going to be that chest, too. Oh, that's also something I want to check out as well. Um, map over here. And is it this button? Okay. Well, at least it shows me. I mean, I don't think that's actually how it's supposed to work. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know, but there's a cat chest there. We got 500 souls. We're going to get more by the time we get there. So hopefully we are able to open all these. Eight tail coins. I've actually kind of forgotten all about that. <clears throat> Not the card game, but the shops that, you know, accept tail coins. What is... Is that a teleport thing? That's another thing we haven't seen in a while is a telepad. No enemies yet. Which is kind of surprising. I imagine we run into something. Uh, I'm assuming that's... No, it would be on that side. Did I... Wait, did I open that chest? Wait a minute. Wait, really? I thought there was... It must be in the building, then. Oh, you guys. Oh. I'll finish this quickly. You guys are not new. You're level 18. Okay, well, um... I mean... Ooh, there's probably, like, uh... What's it called? A dire encounter here that we could actually do if I kill everything. I mean... That's that's one way we could do this. I was actually expecting new enemies. Should I just use the telepad? I mean... Yeah, let's go use the telepad. Alright, well, I'm assuming, like... They wouldn't let me do that if... There was something we were gonna like, miss story-wise. And there's the mana point here. Actually, I think this is where we read all those books earlier, right? Yeah, I think, actually, I think this is where we first heard of, uh, 
Melchior, Maven. And, yeah, Melchior Maven right there. And we, uh, the, what's it called? The 12 Year Sickness was another one. Yeah, I want to adjust the map. <laughs> I'm, I am doing that, so right trigger, then that. Oh, okay. So I got to go in there, and then we go down. Right, because it was on the way to Griffin. And that's where we need to go. All righty then. Can we actually go through these doors? All of them? We might have been able to do that last time. Is it herb? Hasn't regrown yet. Well, that's... I don't know if we've actually ever come across something that's regrown. I know in Zestaria, they regrew rather quickly. Um, this one, not so much. You get a lot of trash loot rather quickly, but... Not so much, uh, herbs. Is that a bad thing? No. Is it something I would like to abuse? Absolutely. <laughs> but that's just the way I am. Actually, I, if, if there was a glitch for, like, stat items, I probably wouldn't do it. I might, like, really opposed to glitching out money and stuff like that. But if I'm playing through a game for the first time, I don't want to, like, become overpowered. For the most part. Replaythroughs, whatever. I don't care if I exploit a glitch or something that gives me 99 levels or like max stats. Because if I'm replaying through the game, probably just because I just want to have fun um, and just bash things. I love bashing things. It's just a pastime, really. But first time playthroughs, no, we want to avoid that. Open you. 65. I found a cat and angel wings. And a cutscene that actually, I'm glad I didn't accidentally run past that. Save me, mommy! Ugh, my mind is a channeling circle. Yeah. He's eating their will directly. That's messed up. I wonder what that tastes like. Hi, girls. How's it going? Uh, last time I just like completely ruined you guys, so like we're a bunch of heroes. I'm... Hey, no fair! You were supposed to say like what? No, like we're a bunch of heroes. And you know, for the first time, probably in a long time, they are acting as heroes. Um, for the first, I don't know, 50, 75 percent of the game, their main motive was revenge at any cost. At least Velvet's was, and everyone else just came along for the fun. But, yeah, this is like the first real... No, I mean, we went to rescue Aizen, I guess. Well, not Aizen, um... Eifried, which that's not too true either. We went to spring a trap that we kind of knew was a trap. And then we killed Eifried. Though we weren't sure if it was Eifried or not. So yeah, we're, we're the good guys now. We're no longer anti-heroes. That's not completely true still. But, I mean, we are a group of demons and witches. So, Magalu is not exactly evil or... I wouldn't even call her an anti-hero. What? I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have blocked that. You're right. I wouldn't call Magalu, like, an anti-hero. Just there. Like, she's just here for funsies. So I guess that would kind of make her anti-hero because, well, she's taking part of a lot of our antics. There we go. Also, Velvet died twice, and I have no excuse other than the fact that I just wasn't paying attention to my health. I don't know why. Is there any souls around? Good God. All right, I ran headfirst into that. I'm starting to get a little peeved about the whole dying situation. That's three. Disgraceful. That is disgraceful. Yo, Roku, are you broken? Armor I don't believe this. Yeah? Man, one of these guys was really easy. Hi, Aizen. How's it going? Yeah, I know. We're getting our ass kicked. I don't know why. Why are we getting our ass These guys are level 72. That's a little higher than normal. It's a little higher than everyone. Oh, I can't look at my stats. That's a shame. Yeah, everyone's like not 
72? At least the AI is actually good at keeping alive. Me, on the other hand, not so much. I missed. I missed. I wasted a soul, and I missed with the claw. I'm not happy. I, I don't even know how I did that. Anyone want to use their Mystic Art? No, because everyone used their Blast Gauges already. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, this thing's not going to put up much of a fight. At least one on one. Well, one on. You know, six. It's a little better. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. Well, I know I can still feel scared out of my wits at least. Mm, that's good. <sighs> it's all right now. We'll help you find your mommy, and then mommy mm. was executed. They killed her because she stole food to give to me. But that's okay. They had to. Mommy Aww. was acting against reason. Oh, this just got sad. So this is the true face of their suppression. Yes, this is the ideal world sought by Shepherd Artorius. As long as malevolence gave rise to demons, this was the only way. That's why the Kingdom of Midgan consented to his plan. But I will never consent. Okay, so like, your Congress Senate people consented? They were like, do it? Man, you would think politicians would be the last people to actually agree to something like that. Mithril doll. Cool. Also, I think the first mithril gear we've gotten. We're just gonna let her go? A world without sadness, but also without joy. A world without hate, but also without love. We should probably keep her with us. You suppose the whole world's like this now? She might tell on us. No. Even this close to the Empyrean's throne, some here have held on to their free will. Still, we don't have much time. I've been getting that right. feeling. I can feel Inominat's domain spreading even now. It's incomplete, but it's quickly growing stronger. Even we might be suppressed if this keeps up, and then it'll be reason o'clock all day long. <sighs> you alright, buddy? Prince. Griffin is doing well. Good. That's good. Uh, I'm happy. Truly. You don't seem happy. Until now, I thought I was just a tool to serve my country. Yeah? But when my feelings were being torn from me, I felt myself want something. No, I thought. I don't want this. I don't want to lose who I am. That's proper reaction, probably. I understand the true horror of this ideal world now. I know it's selfish to put this burden on you, but I beg you, stop all this. Stop Shepherd Artorius. You said something to me once. A bird that cannot fly is no bird at and all. And then I pointed to the and penguins say this to and you. said, what about them? People stripped of their feelings can never truly be alive. Yeah, that's how I used to be. We're going to defeat Artorius. We're going to make this world one where we can be ourselves. We're doing it for us, not for you. But you know what? We will save the world. You've changed, haven't you? You really have. You used to be a sword wielded by your own hatred. But now, you're in control. You're the one who swings the blade. <laughs> and your hatred. Even if I still don't know when to sheath it. Don't worry. When danger comes, I'll be there to protect you. My, I'm jealous. It must be nice to have a reliable young man like that by your Let's side. Let's not get creepy. It certainly is. Our fee's a gallant soul. Aizen. About Captain Eifried. He did. I dealt with he, him. He did. But the Abbey. They stomped all over Eifried's pride. 
to achieve this suppression of theirs. With these hands, I will destroy them. This hand of mine glows with a righteous fury? And I'm fury? going to be selfish, too. And as just another flawed human being, I will offer a humble prayer that you succeed. Well, I'm pumped. Who wants to go cut our way into this throne of theirs? We can't just barge in, sword for brains. I mean, we, we could. Repair. I do need Stick more life bottles. Plan. Also, Wake just punch up the my Empyreans and take Inominat's domain away from him. Artorius said the ceremony wouldn't be complete until the Scarlet Knight. Will they complete the ceremony first, or will we awaken the Empyreans? It's a gamble. While well, moping won't get us anywhere, let's head to Mount Killerous. Right. It's time to suppress the suppression. Okay. Oh, good. We ate. Um, any skits? No, really? That's actually surprising. Also, dog, Eisen, I need you to make something for me. Is it this one? I think it's this one. You come over here. Eat the Eat mail. Up. It's the chef's recommendation. Good for you. All right. Well, maybe later. Uh, where are we going? Return to Hell of Ease. That seems legit. World map. Events. Return to Hell of Ease. All right. I, I hope I didn't mess up the Videl quest. I can't use that. Because, um, yeah, it's been a while since... Since we've seen Videl? I like all. And I know he was sick. Eleanor, did the exorcists know about this when they agreed to help our Ooh, this is this is what they I want to know. Have. The exorcists I know fought for a world where people could live their lives in happiness and peace. But then how do you explain the fact that the exorcists seem to accept what's going on? Maybe that was just what I wanted to believe. It could be that Inominot's suppression is also affecting the exorcists. Yeah. You mean you know me not might have taken control of their will and made them his tools? Completely believable. Exorcists are too hard-headed to be open to much persuasion. If I stayed with the Abbey, I might have accepted this world too. Thank you, Lafayette. It's your strength that protects my heart from wavering. You really think so? Of course I do. Have a little more self-confidence. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing I captured you then. That's Gotta true. Catch him. I owe oh. you my gratitude as well. Thank you. Seriously? Th thank you for right. enslaving me. To be able to express what's in my heart is a wonderful thing. You still drive me mad, but I can't disagree there. So yeah, I brought up that point like a while back too. Like, the Exorcist couldn't have all, at least, uh, the Legates, whatever, the top people, I think they're like Legates or Gets, whatever they're called. They're, uh, they knew, obviously they knew. I mean, it was Melchior and Artorius' main plan, then they got Shigure. Uh, I don't know about Oscar and Teresa knowing. Um, I, I, I have a hard time actually believing they did due to how much they cared for each other, you know? Due to the whole suppression, getting taking away emotions and stuff like that. Anyways, but yeah, all the, all the exorcists could not have known. One slip of the tongue, like, they recruit one exorcist and then he goes out and spreads the word. I mean, that's how, uh, that's how shit gets started. Anyway, skit. Even when not yet fully awakened, Inominat can extend his reach to the entire world. The other towns are probably in the same sorry state as the ones we've seen. Or perhaps even worse. Mogilu, is there some art that can awaken Malakim? What do you mean? Well, if I could just use the flames of purification properly... Even if you could alter mm. reality with that power, you'd end up destroying yourself in the process. Do you want to awaken that badly? I need more power. For Velvet's sake? For her too, but I hate what the Abbey is doing. It's just wrong. This world of theirs is without any joy. I just... want to do everything I can to stop them. This is what I want, with my own free will. And I... I know of no such art. And even if I did, it wouldn't help you. Huh? You've already found strength in your heart. 
There's no magic that can make that stronger. This is getting a little bit too but mushy for you, Malulu. To be ready and determined, and to be brave. I guess you're right. Thanks, Maki Lou. No thanks necessary. A hundred gold will cover it. <laughs> uh, you want me to pay you? Hey, good advice isn't free. What do I For look the most like, a part. sidewalk psychiatrist? I'm a witch. So yes? She always has to be so difficult. Uh, cooking with a curse. <sighs> oh, is this the skit? Huh. I never pegged you as a bad cook, Aizen. What happened? Hmm. The Reaper's curse strikes again! Don't tell me that the curse even affects your own cooking. Afraid so. If I try to flip meat in a pan, it writes itself in the air and lands square back on the cook's side. Does that happen with That's everything impressive. you try to flip? What about pancakes? There's a certain beauty in the dichotomy of golden yellow and dark brown. And omelets, too? Eggs are pretty much a no-go. <laughs> no eggs over easy. Ouch. Uh. I can't even make mini pizzas. Wait. You don't have to flip What's anything. What's the point of living, those. then? If I'm not careful with how I carry them, they end up face down on the floor. Wow, I'm so sorry. What a stubborn little curse you carry around. Just use a spatula. No, <laughs> I still have my pride. Oh, use a spatula or tongs, you fool! All right, so I guess we're gonna have to walk back, or can we actually? No, we can. Uh, let's check out the map again, see how things just sort of unlocked. Okay, so we now at least have the doll quest available to us. Let's head back to Aharia. Alright, that is probably... Ooh, the mana point? Did I not have access? Right, this is the village that's completely dead. Or, well, demified. They're probably dead. Where is, where is it? Is it underneath the house or in here? Oh, behind there. I mean, I don't know if there's anything we really need to... Like, I don't know if collecting all these points is actually, like, a thing we need to do, or... If they're just there. That's three Nordals collected, and one to go. Only one? Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? Turtles, loiters, embroiders? Yeah? What? I don't I mean... know. The Turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe. <laughs> I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? Kinky? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. Oh, I'm well, sure she's absolutely mad at you, curse, actually. Right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Maybe the old me, once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Wait, Do really? You think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. And That's easily angry. she angered. never sends me a reply. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? Oh, God, no. That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. She's just right. At least the person you care about is still alive. Okay, she's angry oh, now. <sighs> Are we done here? Let's go. I mean, your, your brother's kind of alive. I mean, sure, he's currently trying to suppress the world, but we could go see him. Maybe. Probably not next time, but in the future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head on my video section, check out some of my content, and see if it's your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.